There's a deer! There's a deer! We, we got that. Guys, guys, we got it. We got it. Got the deer. So, welcome to another episode of Jurassic World Alive! But you didn't see that coming. <laughs> so, this is the second episode uh, of what I thought was going to be a three part series, but I, I don't know if there's really any need to make it a three part series, considering that Scorpio Shocks Gen 2 and Gen 3. Oh, oh, kind of molded into the same thing. Like you need Gen 2 to get Gen 3. Um, and, and really, you, you probably, unless like Gen 2 is something to write home about, which I'd be very surprised if it is, but you never know. Um, then we're going to be mainly focusing on Gen 3 here, which is going to be the harder one to get. Uh, very rare, or very rare, are epics better than uh, than legend or uniques, I should say. So we're going to brighten up the screen screen a little bit. Oh, God, there's a lot of... Hello. <laughs> there we go. Okay, that's good. That looks good. See, we've got no natural light because I'm recording this at 9 o'clock at night. Um, so, we need Scorpius Rex Gen 2, which I think is this one. Yeah, it's 150. Um, interesting that we've got the map data copyright in the corner. I still don't know how to get rid of that. Okay. So, what would be interesting... Oh, 60! Oh, save me my Carnotaurus DNA. Thank you. So, we've got 71,000 Carnotaurus DNA. I uh, think, oh, and a 50, a 50, give me a 50, oh, yeah, so what we're going to do once we unlock this is I'm going to go into the, the, the alliance, that was three pops and we got it, perfect, I'm going to go into the alliance and ask for Carnotaurus DNA, <laughs> see if anyone can, no help them, oh, it is, ooh, oh, that's an interesting one, who, so we need to get this to level 20, and then once we've got level 20, I think just putting all of it in. If we just go to... Can we do 250 fuses? We could do 200! Wait, wait. 50, 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3, 50. Wow, we're going to run out of Modern Office Source Gen 2 DNA. <gasps> Before we run out of Conator. Here we go. Fusing! Oh, oh, really? The highest we got was 60s? Oh, that's... <laughs> so, well, there you go. 5,000! Right. So what can we do now? Can we do 100? Hey, there we go! Another 100! Oh, it's 50s. Well, out of 100 times that we do it, 50s, um... Oh, half... Well, you know what? That's actually not too bad, because that's less than half of the amount of fuses we did, and we still got a fair amount. Okay, so now we need to get level 20. Now, all this DNA, um, could have went towards Scorpius Rex. Now, I don't know whether this was a good idea or a bad idea. In fact, we need to have a check to see what Scorpius Rex Gen 2 actually is. So... 118 speed, so it's one faster than its legendary counterpart, I think, because that's only 117. I could be wrong. Um, we should compare it, actually, uh, when they're for level 15 here. Um, in fact, what I can do is just pull up the stats, so you guys will be able to see the difference. Um, I'm assuming that Scorpius Rex... So there you go. Here, it should be up now. Is it? <laughs> so that's the difference between a Scorpius Rex and a Scorpius Rex Gen 2. I think Scorpius Rex is probably better, just not as quick. So cunning strike, a strike and run, which is an interesting one. Um, we've got a fierce impact, a quill impact, highest damage attack for 1,095, 75% chance to stun, lasting one turn, of course. Reduced damage for 50% for four turns. So you need something that has a has a, has a cleanse or something. Um, and a defensive swap in. So when this guy swaps in, he increases his speed by 30%, his 75% uh, chance to dodge for two turns. Uh, um, yes, yes, 75% chance to dodge 66.7%. There's all these numbers, man. Uh, unable to swap for two turns. Target highest damage, reduced damage, so you 50. So it gets a speed boost. It's, it's basically the same. It doesn't get crit chance, though. That's the only difference. The, the actual in Scorpius Rex gets crit chance. Scorpius Rex Gen 2 doesn't. But it gets all the other ones. It reduces their attack and gets speed and a, a chance to dodge. Okay. 50% uh, chance to stun. So it's not as... You know, it, I think the other one's 75, this one's 50. However, this is 100% swap prevention. So no matter what comes in, doesn't get it. Um, but it is not 100% reducing reduction to speed, which the other one is. So this guy, if you wanted, if you want to make sure that you can always swap, here, this is your one. But if you want to make sure that you never want to be sped reduced, get the other Scorpius Rex. It's, it seems to be. Okay, so we need to get this guy to level 20 and then check out its uh, level or Gen 3 counterpart. The first ever Gen 3 in Jurassic World Alive. Crazy. What a, what a wonderful life. What, what weird times we live in. Well, I mean, this this kind of just dropped out of nowhere. And I'm like, oh, well, you know what? I'll do it. 
Why not? I mean, a Scorpius Rex, of course I'm excited. Who isn't excited for Scorpius Rex? Who isn't? Freaking Camp Cretaceous was. Oh, it was brilliant. Okay, so that takes us to level 20. So now everything else is going to be plowed into the Gen 3. And hopefully, uh, we should have a couple more fuses. But, you know, we'll do some more fuses. Oh, there's a 50. That's good. Oh, 150. Oh, I'll take it. So we got two more pops of this. Wow, I need Monlophosaurus, man. Ooh, 130, so a little bit less. And the final pop is... Is that any good? Oh, 70 out of 50. Whoa, 180. Nice. That's good. <laughs> if you didn't know, that's, that's good. Okay, let's go to Scorpius Rex Gen 3 and just see what we can do. So we need Gorgosaurus, which you know, we're not too fussed about. And it's 200 each. So let's have a look. So t I could do 20 pops. Uh, two, four, six. I can do 23 pops. So if I was to get 10 every friggin' time, we would be 20 off. So all we need is two 20s. That's all we need. So let's bear that in mind. All we need is more than two 20s. Well, we're starting off strong. <laughs> starting off very strong. Okay, come on. Let's, let's do this. All we need is two 20s. That's it. We're done. We've guaranteed unlock of Scorpius Rex at Gen friggin' 3. Oh, brilliant, yes. You, see, you notice the difference? How we got like a 70, then a 50, then a 40 with the epic? We've done three pops this time. 10, 30, 10. They deliberately make uniques harder. Ooh. Saying that, though, I unlocked the compy one really quick, didn't I? So it's 230, so that saved us... Oh, and a 40, yes! Oh, it's saving us quite a bit. We may be able to level up Scorpius Rex Gen 3. Uh, now, this is interesting because I, I like to work with the new dinosaurs and just see what they can do. Like how we got the compi hybrid in my team and we just boosted that, like, speed to no... It's like 160... 160 odd speed. It's crazy level. Uh, however, I have seen other things outspeeded in the, in the battle arena, which is flabbergasted me. <laughs> But we'll see what this guy's speed is. So I'm assuming that it's going to be slower, but it might be able to tank more. Um, but you never know. Maybe it will be quicker. And there it is. Unlocked. We still have 13 pops left. Create Scorpius Rex Gen 3. What does this guy look like? Oh, ooh. oh, I kind of like it. Oh, nice. Ooh, look how pretty you are. Uh, 119 speed. It's actually faster. Wow, okay, it's uh, it's like a tiger. I like it. Okay, so what do we have? Fear Strike. Okay, not a bad one to have. Instant Ambush. Ooh. So you increase your speed uh, by 30%. You increase your ch ch uh, critical chance by 50. Uh, you, get a d you get a dodge. And you reduce their attack for 50%. Hmm. Now, the only time I've seen something like this is... Uh, it was one of the Cenozoics, I think, did Instant Ambush. I think it was the Sloth who can do an instant ambush and then maybe, you know, tactically get quicker. And, you know, if you know that something's not going to swap in and nullify you, or, you know, you have that chance to set up and they're not going to you know, nullify you, like I said. Uh, cutting Rampage. So this is, uh, you reduce their attack by 50%. Um, you reduce critical chance again by 100%. And I think you do double damage. Okay. Toxic Quills. Here we go. This is even better than the last one. Because this does, it has a 75% chance to stun. So, I mean, most dinosaurs that use competitively uh, are like immune to stun. So, I'll be, I would be very surprised if we come across a dinosaur that can't be stunned. Uh, oh, sorry, can be stunned, I should say. But this is where it comes in. The last one was 0.25% for two turns. This is 0.33 times percent for three turns. Basically, it's dead. If this thing does not have a resistance and does not get swapped out, then it's going to die in three, in two turns, probably. Especially if you're quicker. And you, if you're quicker, so you, you go first, you, you do the Toxic Quills, um, it, it gets stunned, right? It's 75% chance, which is like uh, instant rampage uh, chances of getting stunned, which is quite high. Um, so let's say you go first, you do that, it gets stunned, and then it loses a third of its health. And then it's still your turn to go first. Next time, you go for Cunning Rampage because that's delayed by one, so you can't do that right away. Uh, or you go for Instant Ambush just to make sure if there's a big hit coming, then you're not going to be hurt by it too much. Um, good versatility there. Also, the fact that 
Uh, it is also 100% uh, resistant to stuns. Good, because the last one wasn't. Um, you can swap in. So you can swap in and you uh, have a 75% chance to dodge an attack. Okay, so it's not 100% guaranteed. Normally with, with uh, swap ins, it's like 100% chance to dodge 66.7%. I think anyway. So this isn't guaranteed. So that's interesting. Uh, swap prevention 50%. So you've got a chance to swap out if you really, you know, something that can maybe stop you, like uh, the gripper, gripper lift. Maybe you know you're against that, and you're like, this is not a good matchup because he, you know, you could go for the uh, the, the the toxic quills, and then he's just going to go for emergency heal. You might want to get out of that uh, before you're kind of stuck in to just taking hit after hit of counter, um, like the rendering thing. 50%. Uh, Reduce damage, which is good as well. 50% vulnerable. Yeah, does anybody really use vulnerable? I don't think so. Um, and speed decrease. So really good. The, the, there's three things you want to watch out for when it comes to resistances. That is stun, speed, and attack. And this guy has stun, 100% resistant. Speed, also 100% resistant. And damage, 50. Most dinosaurs aren't resistant like to both speed and attack they're either one or the other and in this case you're 100 you're 50 percent reduced to damage and you're 100 percent to speed that's pretty good you get this guy fast ain't nothing can reduce that speed how just all looks doesn't stand a chance doesn't stand a chance uh thing is it can't heal so it's gonna need the health to tank really um so we can do a you know what i can't i kind of just want to see what can we get with this oh 20 okay 19 well we were close <laughs> we were close. Uh, we got one more. No, well, one more. Ten, five pop, and it is. Oh, 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 oh two fifty, two fifties. Oh, I'll take it. Hundred and forty. Yes, that was really good. We got a badge for that. <laughs> Six thousand coin taking to level twenty-two. Oh, we gotta use this guy. And I think we might be able to do like t like three more pops. Yes, yeah, so we've definitely got it to level twenty-three. I like it. So what we need now is Gorgosaurus, because I am going to run out of that soon. And we're also going to need Carnotaurus. Um, and two dinosaurs that when I saw, when you know, before this update, if I saw them in, in the wild, you know, to dart, I would have kind of passed them up, I think. I'd be like, eh, do I really need it? Eh. <laughs> but this, wow, that looks sweet. Oh, there's loads of stuff you could do with this. So why don't we test it out? Hey, oh, look, Carnotaurus. Hey, people will be doing that raid. In fact, I might do that raid now. No, well, not now, but I will do that in future. Uh, let's have a look. So let's take Scorpius Rex out. And hopefully it should be pretty high. I don't have too many high level creatures. So yeah, look at that, the Comso. Right, let's see. Let's see the versatility of this guy. I think most of these dinosaurs can either heal themselves or cleanse. So, oh, it's night now. Is it just clocked over? I think it has just clocked over. Brilliant. Okay. What do we go for? I think... Is swapping in the best idea with it? I think we just put it out first. I think we put... Oh, look at it. Oh, it comes in differently. It has a different animation than the other one. Now, I think he has a cleanse. So, um, what do we want to do here? I mean, he can just go for his cleanse over and over and over. So, I think... Is he resistant to stun? He's not. Okay, so let's just try. Let's just go for it. If, if we do stun him, then he's going to take that damage. Oh, and then here comes the bleed. Oh, he's just got... You got Shrek, son. Can we get a... Yeah, there you go. And then we can just go for a regular hit. Damn, look at that. I mean, yes, it's a bot, right? But just shows pretty dangerous. Pretty dangerous. So here comes Carnotaurus. I want your DNA. Um, so I think he can cleanse himself as well. Oh, no, he can't. A vulnerability. I actually have a resistance to that, would you believe? Okay, so let's just go for the cunning rampage and reduce this attack that's coming in. Yeah! Oh, it's like from the... from the Oh, and a crit as well. What's his normal crit chance? I didn't have a look at that. 25%. Interesting. Normally, it's like 20%. 25. Oh, it's quicker, though. It's quicker. But you know what we do if something's quicker? We go for the instant ambush. Whoa! Oh, that animation was sweet! What? That was so cool! Okay, he's reduced our attack by 50. Well, you know. Oh, he's removed our critical! You bugger you! Okay, yeah, but we haven't re reduced our speed, and we're gonna hopefully stun you! But, ooh, I think we killed it. Oh my god. Oh, I'm in love! Of the ah! <laughs> oh, that is. That is so cool! Oh! 
Nice. I, oh, maybe we'll get Carnotaurus DNA from this as well. <gasps> we might do. We do. <laughs> 528 echo. So it's Monolophosaurus we need now. Monolophosaurus is the one that we really need to look out for. Um, so, yeah. Really gonna have to. Oh, badger. Badger's over there. Um, we'll do we'll do another battle because we've got the oh I want I'm really tempted to swap out the compi now. I kinda wanna swap out Dio. <laughs> That's sweet. Yes! That's sweet, I like it. Okay, let's do another battle. Do another battle. Right, where are you? I need you. I need you. I wanna see just how I mean it's level 23. It's not very good. It's not boosted, but it I like that. I, that's why I like Utaranix, because there's like a, you could, maybe you're going to go for Rampage and Run, maybe we'll go for Instant Rampage. There's a little bit of like questioning there. I mean, with, with Morton Rex, you, you know a big hit's coming. No matter what you do, a big hit's coming, if you're not going to kill it in one hit. I mean, Morton Rex would not be half as good if it didn't have the cleansing. You know, we're going to put him out first. We're going to put him out first. Arr. Post Metrodon. Ooh, interesting, interesting. Now, I think this, it might be resistant to stun. It is, and it's also resistant to damage over time. Um, so is it, now he's, he's kind of resistant to, okay, I'll go, I'll go for instant. We'll go for instant ambush. We're quicker anyway. I love that. I love the, whoa, the cartwheel thing it does. That's pretty sweet. So we reduced his attack by a little bit, but he did do f uh, ferocious strike. So we'd have done a lot more if we hadn't have done that. Um, We'll resist him again, reducing his damage for two turns. And his attack! Oh, that was beautiful. Oh, I didn't notice the kick. I was so focused on, like, the flying ninja. <laughs> so I didn't even see the kick. Oh, this is good. This is good. Okay, now we're just going to go for regular. Oh, is it a heal? Oh, it is a heal. I mean, it's just prolonging the inevitable, really. I think we might kill him here. Oh, we don't. He, he survives by the skin of its teeth. Uh, oh, ooh, okay. Okay, that's why it did the heal. Oh, so it, it sort of bided time to get it. To, I mean, is, does it have an AI? Really? I, I God knows. Um, so, but there you go. It just <laughs> did 179 damage. So nothing really to write home about. Now this, hopefully the next creature, because I can't remember what it is. Uh, oh, yes. It's boosted as well, apparently. Let's go for Toxic Quills and the stun. No crit chance with that, but here's the stun and it's dead. And it's dead. Oh, Oh, that's satisfying. Four, 800 slap. Taken out. Oh, a little diplotator. Hello, cutie. Uh, you're just res Oh, you're faster as well. Um, mm. How much damage will you do? Oh, I can kill you in one hit. However, you're... Mm, you know what? I'll do it. I'll do it. He's going to resist, so he's going to survive the hit. Um, and I survive its hit. Oh, unless I get a crit, maybe? But even then, I, I don't think we're going to kill it. Do we get 25% chance? No, okay. I love that. That looks so cool. Little kick. Now, is there a way for us to survive this? There may be. There may be, because we'll reduce his attack again. That's an interesting way to do it. To do the in, like the big hit and then go for instant ambush. So there's double the reduction on now. So even though he increases his attack... Oh, we're well, increasing the attack. Oh, we survive! Oh, Nice! Not bad. I mean, he is level 23 and they were like really low levels, but I like it. I like it. It's going to be interesting to see the meta around this. I'm sure all the pro players will already have this level 30 and it will be maxed, even though it came out today. <laughs> there will be. Um, so it'll be interesting to see how they, how they play that and what kind of boosts. I always ask this. Whenever a new dinosaur comes out, I ask you guys, what's the best kind of like comp competitive like way to build it um so if you have any ideas leave in the comments below or a lot of people just tag me in twitter they go beavers this is good <laughs> so I, i'll look at that as well um but yeah i think now next things well first things first now darting a lot of monolophosaurus whenever i can uh carnotaurus and gorgosuchus i think my region is a gorgosaurus region so i will just like set that off and just see how many i can farm and I might even be a mono. I feel like I see Monolophosaurus quite often, so I might be a mono. Um, but hey ho! There it was! Uh, we didn't really get to see the other Scorby's Rex in action, but the other Scorby's Rex is not as good as the other ones. And or maybe it is. Maybe it is. I don't know. But I'm just I'm feeling. I'm feeling this Scorby's Rex Gen 3. The colors are pretty sweet as well. I think I would have preferred if this one was just like all white. Rather than the like the tiger uh turquoise look it's got going for it. Um but it's kind of got a good balance. It's got good speed, a good good crit chance, de 
decent attack. I mean, mainly, you're, you, like Scorpius, you're using that poison, right? You're using the damage over time and the stun. So you don't need crazy attack. Maybe it's health you might need. I don't know. I think it's, you might want a mix of everything. Maybe speed is what you need. Um, but then you've got instant camouflage, right? So do you need a spec in the speed? All theories, because something could nullify you, but it, you're not reduced. You, you don't get your speed ever reduced. Whereas instant camouflage can be taken off you. So if you, if you boost it in speed, you'll always be that fast no matter what. Hmm. Something to think of, something to think of. Because a lot of dinosaurs have going through cloak. So you have Hadosaur that goes through cloak with its resilient and stuff. Uh, you've got the Trichosaur would be a good counter, kind of. It's not immune to stun and bleed, so that means the bleed will do a lot of damage. But then it can also do its big hit straight off the bat and get through your instant camouflage. Oh, I don't know. I don't know. I'm looking forward. I'm looking forward to trying this out. But anyway, guys, if you enjoyed this video, leave a like. And until next time, I'll see you cuties later. Bye-bye. Oh,